Hello everybody, Mr. E here from Art with Mr. E, and we are doing a product review of Faber-Castell's 12 Gel Sticks. Create watercolor paintings, unbelievably smooth and vibrant colors. And it comes with a free brush. So the background, the back of the box gives you a little bit more information. They appear to be very much like Quick Stick or Sergeant Arts paint sticks that come in a container that's kind of like a glue stick in a way. And then the paint is on the inside and you twist it up like you would a glue. Except for this is a watercolor. Very interesting. Which, uh, if you've ever used Quick Stick or Sergeant Arts paint sticks, they are more of a tempera, a quick dry tempera. So let's give these guys a try. So we have black. Now, I just did a product review of their gel crayons and they are buttery smooth. These are a little bit drier, which really, I mean, that's not a problem because if you are gonna be using them like a watercolor, then they don't have to be super creamy because a lot of the blending will take place with the brush in the water. So I'm just putting some marks on my paper. Purple is really dark. I'm sure it will be lighter once you add water. So yeah, I'm just putting some marks on the paper to test these out. That is their darker green of the two. And then this is their lighter green. It's very pretty. Of course, I would say that because green is my favorite color. <laughs> now, I was really impressed with the gel crowns red because it, it was not pinky at all. This appears to be a really nice red as well. You know how red is, sometimes it just, it's a hard color for them to make. And it can come across very pink. Pretty, these are, these are nice. I've never used this product, so you are seeing it as I am experimenting. <laughs> Here's a yellow, it's pretty yellow. And now we have white. Of course, you're not gonna really see that too well. So I am gonna put the white down here by the black and maybe we can make some gray. Maybe I'll put some here in between the purple as well. Let's see what we can do with that. So it comes with a brush. I mean, it's a, it's a decent brush. Looks nice. Now, Faber-Castell also sent to me their click and go water pot. It's got a brush holder and everything. So let's open this puppy up and see what all we have here. Okay, so it's a collapsible water cup, I guess, so that you can save space when you're on the go. Be handy to have if you've got a small travel paint set or watercolor pencils. We'll put some water in there so we can test out the watercolorness <laughs> of these paint sticks, gel sticks. All right. So I'm gonna come over here 
to my yellow first. Now I am, <laughs> disclaimer here, I'm using construction paper. So it's not the best for watercolor. So let's try the purple. Oh yeah, look at that, that's pretty. It definitely is much lighter once you've add, added the water to it. So I'm mixing it on top of where I placed white. That's pretty. Get a nice creamy kind of light purple color. Lavender, lilac, whatever it is. Pretty, I like that. Now I'm gonna mix the black and the white Right here is where the white is, I think you can tell. So you do get a gray. The color is really strong. Like it's, it's, it, it creates a really, a, a nice pigment for paint. I think that it would take some working with this and talking to your children or your students, whoever is using this product and telling them not to overdo it because I could see the pigment getting wasted if kids just kind of go hog wild to cover all the white spots with the stick. Know what I mean? I think that if you demonstrated how the color blends out with water they may be a little bit less likely to go overboard. I do not know the price point, so I'm not exactly sure how much it costs or like how much a class set, or even if it comes in a class set, how much that would be. They are super fun though. I really do like them. I think this would be something different for the kids to use. And in the situation we find ourselves right now with COVID and not being able, uh, so I know that some teachers are on a cart and it's hard to carry around like all the paint sets. And then after the kids use the paint sets, they're wet and kind of soupy. What do you do? This would be really a nice alternative because they easily pack up <laughs> because they're these handy dandy little plastic sticks. So they, they'll pack up quite easily, which is nice. And then also this would be very easy to sanitize uh, de depending on the practices that you're using at your schools for sanitizing school supplies, art supplies, materials. So that is the Faber-Castell 12 gel stick water soluble watercolors. You really would not want to use this, in my opinion, would not want to use this in place of oil pastels or quick sticks or anything like that. This is definitely meant for watercolor and you will get more bang for your buck if you teach the children how to properly use these and not to over saturate the paper when they are coloring with the actual gel sticks. You'll get a longer use of the product. I like them, I think they're cool, I think they're really interesting. So you may wanna check out Faber-Castell's 12 gel sticks. All right. Have a great day. Oop. And I really do dig this collapsible cup. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Bye, y'all. Have a great day. Bye-bye now.